What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and welcome to my second video on my best air fryers of 2021. This video will be toaster of toaster air fryer oven edition. Let me give you my journey real quick. Um, so 2013, I had one of those Oster, Oyster, Oster, um, just regular $30 Walmart, Walmart ovens. Then by 2014, I upgraded to a black and silver one. It was like a large one. I think that was 80 bucks. Um, by 2016, I got a French door one, which was about 200 bucks. Um, let's see. 2017, I got a Breville Smart Oven Air. January 2019, I got a June oven. Now, all those ovens before my June, I got rid of because I could not clean them properly. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to give you my three best and look out for part three. All right. All right, guys, without further ado, we're going to go over my top three toaster oven air fryers. We're going to go over them one by one. This is the June oven, y'all. This is going to run you $600. I have the second generation. The third generation is out now at the same price. As far as I know, the only place to buy this is at the June website, juneoven.com. What's unique about this oven, guys, it's a network oven, meaning that it hooks up to your Wi-Fi. You don't have to, but I don't know why you would buy this if you're not going to do that. But yes, this can hook up to your Wi-Fi, and it can be commanded through your Google, Echo, or um, Android or iOS devices. And actually, before I forget, and this also made me nauseous when I bought this, um, this uh, oven was made by Apple engineers. Um, and uh, we're Android in this house, so this is the only Apple product I have in my house. The most expensive one, of course. <laughs> Let's just go over the functions real quick. So you have your programs. I'll show you that later, but you got your bake, you got your roast, you got your slow cook. And it could slow cook high and low, just like anything else. Broil, toast, air fry, dehydrate, reheat, proof. Keep. Well, one of the cool things about this oven that, to me, justifies the price of $600, you can clean it with oven cleaner. And we're going to take a, a, a break to... I'm going to... All right, guys. I uh, covered the burners in foil because I'm about to spray. Quick disclosure, guys. If you do not have a June oven, I do not suggest you try to use Easy Off Oven Cleaner. It will ruin the finish of your oven. This is the only oven besides a traditional oven that I know that can be cleaned with Easy Off. Please consult your manual. All right, I'm going to get to spraying. Get the sides. All right, guys, so I'm just going to let this sit like this for a minimum of four hours. But I'm just going to let it, this is what, midnight right now? So, you know, uh, probably, I don't know, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'll clean it out. Oh, I'm going to spray out my crumb tray and rack. But this is what my crumb tray looks like. Well, guys, it's the next day. And take a look at my crumb tray. Got a little thing there. Oh, that's nothing. This is my rack, guys. I want you guys in high definition to see the gunk. This is pretty nasty. I haven't cleaned my oven, by the way, in over a year. All 
I'm going to do one wipe for you and then we'll just continue with the video. But I just want to show you. See that right there? All right, guys. There you have it. This took 10 minutes to wipe down. And if you want to see me fully clean out the June oven, just go on YouTube and type in June oven cleaning. And my video or June's themselves video will pop up and you'll get to see everything get cleaned in this oven. Before I forget to mention it, up top here, there is a camera so it can see your food and it can recognize most of the foods you put in here. But we're, we're going to get into that a little later. All right, guys, let's have some fun. Echo, Axe June oven to preheat at 400 degrees for two minutes. Okay, baking. I've set a timer for two minutes. It'll start when you put your food in the oven. Okay. Set timer now, cancel cooking, more options. So I could set timer now and it'll go to two minutes. But if I wanted to cancel it, Echo, tell June Alvin to power off. Okay, canceling cook. And I want to mention to you guys, pretty much all year, since January, since December actually of last year, um, this machine has been sold out. So I know some of you are going to say, oh, it's $600. No worries. People are buying it. Okay. So, all right, guys, let's go to the June app. Now this works for your tablet, your Android device, iOS device. doesn't matter. So we're in the June app. So it has a cookbook here. So we can just scroll and we can look for whatever recipe we want. It is a fee. It's it's a trial period, I forget, of seven days, I believe. And then it's $5 a month or $50 a year. So it's up to you. So I'm going to just pick something easy. I think I saw a box craft macaroni and cheese. Where did I see that? Yeah, there we go. Well, not craft, but box mac and cheese, right? So I'm going to click it there. It's going to say get started. It's going to show me everything I need to do. Scroll there, scroll there, look at that, I may even try this for you guys, look at that, go like that, and so now it's ready, see, can you see it, it says ready to cook, so once I hit the check mark, that means my food's in there. And I don't have to do anything else. It will do it for me. When the time's up, my food's done. I didn't have to know what time or temp or nothing. Remember I told you this has a camera, right? All right, so let's have some fun. See that? It's asking me, is this white bread or wheat bread? It's white bread. Click this. Now it's going to ask me to continue. Now it knows. Can you see it? Now it knows it's got two slices in there. But watch this. I put three slices in there now. Let's see what it says. Now it says three slices. So it knows the quantity. Not only does it know what's in there, but it knows the quantity. I mean, I'm just saying. It's $600, but can your oven do that? All right, so start toasting. We'll just do that just to show you something really quick. All right, guys, so we got like a minute left. I can go into the app, hit oven, and it gives me the, my time, my status, but I can watch it live. See? Now, they're golden brown. So let's say I like it like this, and I hit... Cancel cooking. So now it's going to say 
save shorter time? And I'm going to say yes. Because I want to cook like that this way the next time. So it will save that preset that I just set for next time. And I'll have perfect toast each and every time. This could be you. Same rules apply. Got cinnamon raisin bagel. I close her up. It's asking me, is it wheat or plain? I hit plain. Knows it's two bagels. Start two minutes and change. Or well, you guys want some hard boiled eggs? No problem. Says whole egg or burger buns? Well, it's not burger buns, so hit whole egg. And I just wanted to show you that it did recognize that it's three eggs. Hit start. Sit, start boiling. 24 minutes. We all love bacon, right? See that? Bacon or lamb rack. <laughs> we know it's bacon. Hit continue. It knows. Again, it's three strips. We just put start cooking. Nine minutes. I can turn this off on the Echo device, on my phone, whatever, or manually. Sausage too. Sure, why not? I can go on and on for days. Even drumsticks, y'all. Yep. From frozen pizza, too. Whether it's regular slices of these. What about reheating some pizza? This machine also comes with a meat thermometer. Just plug it in like that. Now, you only need this when you're using um, guided cooking. If you're cooking manually, you do not have to use uh, the meat thermometer. But, like I say, if I was doing a whole chicken and I put the whole chicken in and it recognizes the whole chicken, it's going to require me to use this meat thermometer. So if you don't want to do that, of course you can do it manually. And speaking of manually, of course, you don't need a network or Wi-Fi to work this machine at all. I can punch in stuff manually. Let me just show you. See, I can bake. See, it'll ask me the temperatures and all that good stuff. I can, uh, what else? Slow cook. What was another one? Toast. Got some bread in there. I want to do it myself. These are the levels. That's the highest. That's the lowest course air fry uh, telling me to use the baskets I could go up to 500 degrees go as low as I don't know 100 so I can do this manually but of course I just want to show you what separates this oven from your oven or the oven that you were looking at and why it's so expensive and why I justify it because if I can clean it to the first month of, of when I got it and I think it's as clean as the first month that I have it right now and I've had it for what two years I, you can't beat that and then you have all those you know you can plug you can put in the food and recognize it you don't have to know the time the temp and the app shows you how what you need to make it how to make it how to cut it up everything and then zaps the time and temps to the oven I mean that's just incredible value so that's why I think June is number one for 2021 in toaster oven air before I continue before I forget whether it's a June oven ninja whatever device comes with a meat thermometer that that um that can be attached to that gadget I would use 
um, as a backup your personal meat thermometer just to make sure that that temperature is accurate because I find even with the June my Ninja or whatever other devices that I have with a meat thermometer it the temperatures are off it says it's you know 180 and really it's like 160 it or 165 it's it's I've, I've seen it off like that so always for now maybe in the future it'll be better but for now double check with your own meat thermometer and next up we have the Ninja Foodie Pro Oven now that's a sexy oven right there y'all this one's going to mama in a few days so that should tell you and let me tell you this if there was no such thing as a June oven this wouldn't be going to mama it would be going on my counter this goes for three hundred dollars not on sale now you can definitely catch this on sale holiday time black friday all that good stuff or when Kohl's is having you know their percentages off which is seems like every other month you can catch this for about 249 ish something like that and, and maybe with Kohl's some extra savings but just random day like today it's gonna be like 279 with tax is gonna be three hundred dollars and right now I think that's the best three hundred dollars you can buy in an air fryer oven absolutely I love this machine it does everything that you need to do plus more let's let's go over that all right so let's just go through the functions real quick um, where's my function button there it goes so we got whole roast air roast air fry bake dehydrate broil toast bagel pizza and reheat and those to me are the basic functions that you would ever want in an air fryer oven it does have a light when you're cooking something so let's let's put on air fryer where's function again let's go back to air fryer I'm gonna start it up and let you hear it it says preheating And with this machine, you do have to preheat. You can't override it, but it's pretty quick. Like preheat on this machine is like, this will take like a minute and a half to get to 450 or less. So I'm pretty impressed with that. That's quick, that was 45 seconds. <laughs> so I can hit the light bulb and turn on the light. Power it off. So of course this comes with a crumb tray. I had it in before but I'm just going to show you. Of course it comes with a rack. I'll put that in there. But what I love and what mom's going to love. Oh actually let me put this down here. I usually have it like that. What mom's gonna love is it comes with two of these pans, two. And it comes with this roast rack, I think they call it. Isn't that cool? The drippings can fall right into that pan under there. That's pretty awesome. Now I did a video, I did a whole bunch. I think I did like 20, uh, I don't even know. I think I did like 18 or 20 wings on here at one time. That That's pretty awesome. Of course, guys, it comes with a manual. Let me put this up so Mama gets it. But, of course, it comes with a recipe book. So that's pretty awesome. It's got some charts in there, too. Good stuff. I don't think cleaning this is a problem. I think all you'll need is like, you know, soapy or just warm water um, and a rag. And you'll be able to wipe off pretty much anything, I'm sure. Uh, shout out to uh, John Sanders, a.k.a. Jelly007. 
uh, one of my peers, uh, fellow creator on YouTube, he did a video on cleaning it, which I'm very interested. That's the first thing I look at when I look at these ovens, because if you can't clean it, I, I don't want it. Um, because I know how I am. I'm not going to, I'm not wiping down the oven every day. I'm not foiling it down looking like a daggone nuclear project or something. Not doing that either. So if I can't clean it, I don't want it. At, at this, in 2021. Maybe back in the days, but not now. I know better. I have better. So, and I wiped this down only one time. That's it. And I've used this oven six times. And I only had to wipe it down once. And you see how clean it is. I used it six times. I've done wings. I've done, uh, I've done bacon. I've done, I've done a, a few cooks on here. So it held up very nicely. Very impressed. Well worth every penny of $300 or whatever you get the discount of. Every penny. Well, it's time to pack this up. We're going to take an 11-hour trip to Florida to Mama. Oh, yeah, I did forget to mention, I got this off of HSN, um, but I know Amazon and the Ninja website and Kohl's and other places, they sell one just like this with a meat thermometer. I chose not to get one because, if you, for me, at this point, after trying multiple devices with meat thermometers, like I said, they're not always as accurate. So if, I, if I'm able to buy a machine, the exact machine, without it, I would opt to do that. And that's what I did here. Shout out to Gourmet here one time. Quick story. I was at Target picking up my PlayStation 5 remote. Media remote. And I said to myself... I'm going to pick up an air fryer toaster oven under $150, the best one that I see. Like if I only had $150 in my pocket, or let's say $165 you know, for tax, what would be the best oven for me to pick? This bad boy is pretty loud, but this was $100, bucks, $99.99. It's lightweight, it's compact, and it does everything that you need it to do. I, I, it, when I'm looking at it now, it looks like a baby Breville. <laughs> Take a look at it. So these are all the functions. Got air fry, toast, bagel, pizza, bake, broil, roast, reheat, warm cookies, proof, dehydrate, and slow cook. Now that ain't bad now. A hundred bucks. What does it say down here? You got menu, temp, shade, convection, time, slices, start, stop. So pretty straightforward and this is you know how you pick what you want. I'm not mad at all. Well with this oven so far I don't see a light up in there. It's usually in the corners. I don't see any light up there so but look, get this, you get this, and you get this for a hundred bucks. That's not bad. All right, let's turn on air fry and see what happens. I'm going to hit menu. All right, it's already there. Temp, how high does it go? Goes to 450, okay. And time, eh, I'll go one minute and I guess I hit start and this is 1700 watts by the way so you have the power it's a noisy $99 but and guys, you can do better, of course, at, you know, maybe one, uh, $200. $200, you can get a Kasori, or you can get that compact Ninja oven. Okay, so it's preheating. So, let's see. So it says preheat. Can I bypass preheat? I don't know. Let's see. Nope, I can't. 
Maybe if I hold it down? Nope. Okay. That's cool. I've seen enough. Let me stop it. Let me show you. I just hit stop. Cool. This comes with a manual, of course. And what else does it come with? What's this? Ooh, nice. Gourmet Air Fryer Recipe Book. Now this is... This looks like it's got a few pages in here. What, 60 pages? Not mad at all. Uh, well, shop that. We'll call it 30 pages because it looks like every recipe you get the left page is picture, right page is recipe, which is great. I like to see picture and full explanation. I ain't mad at that. Go, go ahead, Gourmet. I know that's right. Well, that was fun, guys. So look for, so that was part two of my best of 2021 air fryers edition. This is air fry oven, toaster oven edition. So we have one more to go. AJ's on spring break, so we are going to be on vacation. So that'll come a couple of days from now. Um, but I think these two are the most important, and plus I have to get this oven to my mom anyway. So, but these are the two most important. The third one will be a bit of a shocker to you, somewhat. Um, I have a surprise in there for you guys. But I think the whole three should should give you a good feeling about what air fryer you should get, I think. And before I go, I wanted to mention that I do have an air fryer group on Facebook. It's over 65,000 members. It's called Air Frying with Doug. And I consider, I consider joining that group because um, we want to see what air fryer you love to use and what you like to make in it. Or you could always do a search in there and get recipes. Guys, if you have an Instagram or TikTok, look me up, Cooking with Doug, on those platforms. But that's all I got. Look out for part three of this series. That's coming soon. Oh, and for you guys, I will pin to the comments my air fryer cookbook for newbies. I did that in 2020. That's over 40 videos that are just easy air fryer recipes that I think everybody could get into. So definitely, definitely check that out. And I'll leave a link to my air fryer group as well so that you can um, join and share your recipes and, or what air fryer you like to use and all that good stuff. All right? So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug.